I wrote this number. It's about you. You don't know anything about me. Thanks to Showgirls, we found out all about Elizabeth Berkeley, and she paid a high price. The 1995 Paul Verhoeven Joe Esterhaus release was a big time bomb, and critics tore apart everything about it and everyone in it, and it hurt. It's one of the most painful things I've gone through in my life, frankly. No one saw it coming, that reaction. It was all so hyped and built up, and so it was very disappointing, and personally, it was, it was very difficult because. The, frankly, the press was very cruel on a personal level, and I just, it, it was a real op eye opener as to the business. Berkeley went to Europe in the aftermath of the showgirls' debacle. She changed management, and with a role in the first Wives Club, began a sort of rehabilitation process. I, I really have the part. Oh, baby, you know it. Mm. She's just completed shooting on The Tax Man with Joe Pantoliano. And in The Real Blonde, she plays a body double standing in nude for other actresses, although she's not seen at work in the film. She's quick to point out no body double was necessary for showgirls. No, I showed it to the world. <laughs> Whoa, may I remind you both that we are girls. We are not foxes, not chicks, nor any other cute little animal you boys like. For the former cast member of NBC's Saved by the Bell, bearing all in Showgirls was quite a graduation ceremony. As time passes, though, she finds attitudes toward it softening. It's amazing, two years later, that people still talk about it. People still stop me on the streets right and left, like, hey, I loved it. I, I've seen it 20 times. People have parties, Showgirls parties. It's, it's crazy, the life it's had after its release. And there's life after Showgirls for Berkeley too. It's that old adage, as long as they spell your name right, it doesn't matter what they say right, about you. Right, right. Although sometimes they spell my name like the school, so I don't know about the B-E-R-K-E-L-E-Y, they spell it sometimes. It's Berkeley with two E's, and she's trying to make sure no one forgets her name. Mark Shearer, CNN Entertainment News, New York.